Yeah, let's look at the Spider-Man designs throughout the years. Let's go back to 2002-2004 for the original Toby suits. In all three of the movies, the designs had subtle changes. We started with some muted colors, and things did get a little bit brighter over the years. But the big focus in these suits seemed to be about the wedding having that 3D stitching that came out. It was embossed and stuck out. Still to this day, though, it's hard to say a bad thing about this. And if you look really close in No Way Home, you can even see some of the subtle design changes to the face, mostly in the tightness of the webbing. The first Tasm suit popped up next, and the designers want to do something different. Many fans now love this suit and think it was the most sinister of all the suits. Like if Spider-Man was stalking you in a street alley or in a dark corner, this would terrify you. Originally, people made fun of it and called it the basketball suit because it had that texture like a basketball, but I love it. And maybe it's safe to say that perfection was achieved in Tasm 2. The biggest shift going to the comics and giving us the big white eyes fans were screaming for it. And when it was Tom's turn in the first Stark suit, the designers want to give it a different finish. Let's tone down the webbing. Let's make it flatter and see if we can make it a little more slick. And the progression in the Tom suit designs really does get crazy. I'm a huge fan of Tom's original sweatsuit. And the Night Monkey stealth suit, I actually love it. The inside out suit and the integrated suit, they're okay, they're okay. And I know there's fans of the Iron Spider suit that wasn't directly from the comics. It was inspired, but I like the comics one a little bit better, the red and yellow. But I think the high watermark in design was the black and red suit from Far From Home and the classic suit from No Way Home. A lot of fans realizing that the black and red suit that Tom's Spider-Man designed himself was a direct tribute to Amazing Fantasy number 15, the cover of Spider-Man's appearance. Even though the suit is supposed to be blue, it came across as black and red, and they covered that in the movie. And fans went nuts when we finally got the classic suit. It took so long in all these movies. We mostly just got CGI shots of this and artist renditions. We still haven't seen Tom walking around in this or any of the stunt doubles. But the day is coming when we're actually going to see this suit on screen with a body in it right before our eyes, no special effects. Y'all, we're going to see this on screen and all the designs that came before it are going to lead up to the most perfect suit ever.